Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video, doing the second spring 2023 update for today's second video. So, uh, yes, we've got a little bit of long range, but it's going to be QBO special uh, for this one. We're going to be looking at Westerly QBO Springs and what that could mean for uh, spring 2023. And I shall get on with that for you in a moment. <laughs> Just to say, but first, video's release day was 6 a.m. upload. We're going to have a little review of the uh, winter forecast. Now, we're reaching the halfway point of Meteorology Winter. We're going to see uh, how the uh, forecast is faring so far. That'll be coming up around the day-ish, I think. And then uh, we're going to have 10 to 14 down later on this afternoon as well. So, busy old Sunday at uh, Gazworthy today. Please like, share, subscribe on the video. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that. Thank you so much to Richard for the Spring Updates gift. Thank you so much, Spring. Uh, oh, thank you so much, Spring. Thank you so much, Rich. Um, I love it. I love the Spring Updates gift. And we're going to be naming the, uh, little, uh, the little lamb there. We're going to be like, naming the lamb. And we're going to be naming uh, the dog as well. We're going to do the lamb first of all. So if you've got any names for the lamb, then uh, please post them here in the comments on this video. Um, no, the, you know, they're all in the same place. I will uh, I will get them all together and put them on the name picker, probably on tomorrow's live stream, maybe Wednesday's live stream. Um, you know, we'll put them all on the name picker. And uh, we'll name the lamb. And then next week we'll... <laughs> next week we'll name... Uh, the little doggy as well. Uh, I love it. Oh, thank you so much, Richard, <laughs> for the spring update gift. And uh, who needs Fluffy the Diva? I don't know. Right, let's start the spring uh, update then, number two. So, QBO special, this one. Uh, this is from uh, NASA, depicting the easterly and westerly phases of the quasi being oscillation. Going back to uh, 2020. Um, now, this is the easterly QPO phase just here. From uh, 2021 into 2022. This is like the top of the atmosphere of the stratosphere at 10 HPA. And this is the boundary level of the atmosphere that we call the troposphere at 30 to 50 HPA. These east and west phases of the quasi biennial oscillation QPO descend from the top of the atmosphere in the strap down to the trop. So you can see from this sandy brown area just here that we are now in the westy phase of the QPO. QPO has successfully descended from the stratosphere from the stratosphere into uh, the troposphere. And um, that happened, you know, last year. So we weren't truly in westerly phase of the QBO. The spring of 2023 will be a westerly QBO phase uh, spring. It may be starting to wind down by the end of the spring. I don't think we'll be transitioning into the easy phase of the cross by any oscillation this spring. Um, but we might decide to see the QBA just, Western QBA just beginning to wind down a little bit by sort of May time. Uh, but I think the transition to the EC QBA phase will happen further on into the year. That does make it a little bit complicated to uh, get the years together for uh, for this particular update. So uh, these are the uh, QBO numbers for everyone going back into the 1950s. The current year, of course, or last year, 2022, uh, just here. So uh, we start the year with the EC QBO, of course, with these negative numbers. That reverses through the summer, and uh, we get these positive numbers appearing in the second half of the year. December's QBO number, by the way, which I'm not sure I've revealed so far, came out at 11, uh, plus 11.70. Quite a strong Wesley QBO month there, though interestingly a little bit weaker than the November before it. So possibly we had an, we've had an early peak of this uh, Wesley phase of the QBO. Possibly we had an early peak in November. Although, you know, we'll need to wait two or three more months to confirm that. Anyway, January's Wesley QBO number will be placed just here. I mean, February's there, March there, April there, May there. All of these months should be strongly positive, probably into June, July as well. I would imagine the next uh, change to the Easy QBO happens like later on in the summer or into the autumn. 
are most likely. So, as I said, it should be quite a, quite a strong uh, West Sea QPO spring. Now, don't present a few problems, because what tends to happen in spring, a lot of the time, is that we tend to start transitioning uh, from one QBO phase to the other. Spring is like the season, seem to end so in some ways, where you tend to begin to fade back towards more neutral condition, and then you'll go off into the next QBO phase, you know, later on in the year. <coughs> Excuse me, 1988 is a great example of that. So we start 1988 with uh, with a Western QBO phase. Um, but notice that uh, sort of reverses as we go into the spring. So that's March just there, that's April just there. And then May to June, we begin to start transitioning um, into uh, the easterly QBO of the second half of 1988 and into 1989. Um, there are a few years that were just generally quite strong. Western QBO Springs, for example, 2011 is uh, one of those. So uh, that had quite a strong Western QBO throughout all three of the uh, spring months. And the um, transition towards the Eastern QBO phase didn't, didn't start taking place until we got into um, the summer. So what we're doing with this is uh, we're just going to show the uh, same Western QBO years that we had. In the uh, winter update, uh, when we did the QBO special in the uh, winter update back in the autumn, uh, we're just going to follow that through, you know, into uh, the spring. We have taken out the three uh, years that uh, we think are most relevant uh, for this year in terms of not transitioning, because we don't think we're going to transition or start transitioning into the easy QBO. Uh, this spring. Shrine's got all of this together for us. Thank you so much, your friend Shrine Bruin, uh, for uh, sorting this out for us. Right, okay, so we're going to begin with uh, the first spring, which is 1967. Uh, so spring of 1967 is an unsettled spring, with be above, with below average heights, I should say, uh, across the UK, much of West Europe, above average heights out into the Atlantic and the jet stream going south is a little bit like that. So, uh, yes, quite an unsettled, relatively mild spring, I think, in 1967. A very unsettled spring in 1972, uh, which is a Western QBO spring as well, with uh, below average heights elongating through the western side of Europe. So that's uh, a, a, a wet spring that we have going on there. Uh, 1976 is our next spring. This one... Uh, perhaps more relevant for the current scenario in terms of not transitioning or beginning to transition to the ECQBO through the spring. Uh, so the spring of 1976 um, has high pressure towards Scandinavia, low pressure to our south and east and also away to the northwest. It looks like it should be quite an unsettled spring, but actually it wasn't particularly. It was a very dry spring. Um, and does turn very warm as well uh, through most of the spring, particularly when we get into May. Uh, however, there is one quite potent cold snap that takes place um, through the spring of 17th, but generally it's a dry and warm spring. Back to um, the spring of 1986 is our next Wesley QBO spring. Uh, this one is a cold and wet spring um, with low pressure in off the Atlantic. Doesn't reveal it, but there is a very easterly April uh, as well in 1986, which is a particularly cold and uh, wet month with some late snowfalls uh, as well in uh, in the spring of 1986. So overall, a cold and wet spring there in uh, 86, following on from a cold winter, of course. Um, then we have the spring of 1988. Just talked about that. This one begins to start transitioning more towards the easy QBO phase, but it is primarily a Western QBO spring. Um, this one, quite an unsettled spring again, with low pressure over to the east of the country. Uh, and after a very mild winter, it does actually turn quite cold in April of 1988 as well. So the winter of 87, 88 is a very mild winter, but it does get cold when we get into uh, April of 1988. So rather cool and unsettled spring there. For that one. Then we've got 1991, which is, which is a mild and dry spring with above average heights in from the Atlantic into northern and western Europe and below average heights away to south winds tending to be in from an easterly direction a lot of the time. So a dry and uh, quite warm spring in 1991. That's a very nice spring. And uh, then we've got uh, a long gap uh, to the spring of 2009. Of course, there were Western QBOs in between that. 
phase. But uh, they were either sort of de developing or uh, fading out and whatnot through those, um, you know, through those intervening years. So the next time we have a proper sort of Wesley Cubio spring is in 2009, albeit I think by the end of the spring, this is also beginning to start transitioning towards the EC QBO phase. But generally, this is West QBO spring. This is quite a warm spring with uh, above average heights, high pressure to our south and also to our east, below average heights away to the north and to the northwest. Winds coming up from a southerly to uh, southwesterly direction a lot of the time in this spring. It has quite a cold winter, of course, 0809, but the spring of 2009 is actually uh, quite a warm spring. And then we've got 2011. This is a very warm spring, particularly so in April. has uh, the, uh, the record-breaking uh, warm April, I think, uh, of 2011. I don't think that's been beaten since. So uh, exceptionally warm April in what is a very dry and uh, warm spring as well. With below average heights away to the northwest, deep polar vortex around Greenland, Iceland, and uh, winds coming up from a southerly or southwest stretch. Of course, it all falls apart for the, for the summer, um, but the spring of 2011 is uh, warm and dry, and especially so in April. They've got 2014. This is a relatively warm spring as well, quite anticyclonic, with above average heights away to our east. Winds tend to be coming in from an easy direction quite a lot of the time. So after the deluge winter of 2013-14, we go into uh, a much drier season for the spring of 2014 and it remains pretty warm as well. Uh, 2016 uh, looks like that. West Sea Cubio Spring with above average heights blocking within high latitudes and below average heights to our south. This does have a very potent cold spell in April of 2016. Otherwise, I think it's a relatively mild, relatively warm um, spring, but there is a notable cold spell in uh, the uh, middle of this spring in April 2016, and lasting into early May as well, I think, actually. Um, but it's probably not as bad as you would think. You look at that and think it's a very cold and wet spring. It's not as bad as that, uh, but it does have some pretty potent cold weather. Remember, we're coming to the end of a very strong El Nino, the Super Nino, uh, with this spring. Super Nino 2015-16 is winding down, and uh, and so I'm not sure how relevant that analogue is. But anyway, it is a Wesley Cubio spring, so it's included. And then we've got another warm, dry spring for 2017 with uh, above average heights extending through the west of Europe. You'll remember this should have been an ECQBO, but the ECQBO was like 2016, 17 failed and West ECQBO continued. Um, so uh, that should be generally... Uh, that should be uh, that should be uh, a mild and dry spring. It wasn't quite a warm and dry spring there in 2017. And then the last year in 2021, when we had a Wesley uh, Cubio spring, and uh, this one is a cold spring after quite a coldish winter. Has quite a lot of high pressure blocking around Greenland and Iceland with low pressure to our east. Winds often in from the north. You remember that in 2021 we had our coldest April since 1986 and our coldest May since 1996 is a very cold spring that we had in 2021. I'll set a little bit by a relatively uh, mild March but uh, April and May 2021 were both uh, really cold months actually and overall that is a cold spring. Our, our last colder than average season actually was the spring of 2021. Right let's start putting all that together then. So this is how all Marches combined are looking with uh, Wesley QBO, and uh, it looks like that, with uh, high pressure away to the northeast, low pressure out in the Atlantic, high pressure around the Azores, or generally westerly, I think, for those uh, marches. So probably, you know, average type dish is relatively mild a lot of the time, and uh, a little bit on the unsettled side too. Uh, now, all April's combined with Wesley QBO tends to favour high pressure, Close to the country, so that is a relatively uh, dry signal for those Aprils. Um, what dry weather could be expected there? A little bit towards uh, the cold side of the ridge, so some of the Aprils could be quite cool. But then again, not like 2011 in the mix, which was a very warm April. Big change for May, so this is all May's combined by the Wesley QBO. This might be because a lot of these Mays are beginning to start transitioning 
towards the easterly QBR. I'm not sure, but that might be what's going on here, why they seem to flip, because suddenly we find high pressure in the Norwegian Sea and towards Scandinavia, and low pressure comes in off the Atlantic, suggesting that a lot of these years are producing quite a cold and wet signal for these Mays, quite an unsettled signal for the Mays after dry April. And uh, all springs combined with a westerly QBO favours above average heights building in from off the Atlantic into northern and western uh, parts of Europe. So relatively anti-cyclonic signal for those uh, springs, and particularly so as we've established in April. Now, if we just narrow it down to the three most relevant years but aren't showing any sort of transition towards the ECQBO phase finally, and uh, that is the spring of 1976, the spring of 1991, and the spring of 2011, this is how we come out. So all March combined um, uh, with West QBO springs that we think are closest to uh, this year, uh, it's a much more anti-cyclone signal for those uh, marches with high pressure away to the east, low pressure away to the north and west, so quite a, quite a warm, dry signal uh, for those marches. All April's combined still anti-cyclonic with above average heights more or less right over the top of the country so still a relatively dry a warm signal for the April's when what happens in the Mays let's have a look at that a much more anti-cyclonic signal again for the Mays albeit the high pressure looks like it's beginning to slip a little bit and go southwards with some lower pressure deepening to our north which might be a bit more unsettled especially for more northern areas but overall the three closest springs to 2023 as far as the QBO itself is concerned, uh, we, we think, you know, those three springs uh, of 76, 91 and 2011 uh, show a, a much more uh, anti-cyclonic type signal in the May, uh, in the Mays. And uh, this out all springs combined a lot with Wesley QBO and springs closest to 2023, what we anticipate will be closest to 2023. And uh, again, we get the above average heights into the north of West Europe, which is a relatively dry signal for those springs. So, so actually, the spring, this spring, you know, from a QBO perspective, with the three closest to this year, might be uh, quite quite a dry and warmish month. But of course, that remains to be seen. Right, we're done. If you enjoyed this spring update, then please can you like, share, and subscribe. It's so everybody. Uh, for uh, doing that and work, drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to my good friend Richard. Richard Drop for the uh, spring updates gift. Thank you so much, Rich. And uh, thank you so much to Shrian as well, Shrian Brian, for uh, sorting out those uh, years for us. If you want to name a lamb, post it in the comments and I shall get all the names together, put on the name picker, and uh, we shall be naming the lamb either on Monday or uh, Wednesday's live stream. And uh, next week, we shall uh, name the dog as well. Uh, we're going to be back a little bit later on with the uh, mid-season review of the winter forecast. See how we're doing with our uh, winter forecast up to halfway point. And uh, we're going to have a 10 to 14 day about be coming up later on this afternoon. Please like, share and subscribe on our videos. We'll see you later on for that, for this second spring 2023 update. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.